On Saturday, more than 1,200 grade school kids compete in the annual Science Olympics at the University of Alberta. I think there's two huge parts. One, it's a really fun, exciting, hands-on way to explore engineering and geoscience, to learn what that looks like in everyday life and see the connections to the curriculum. It's also a great way to develop skills, things like teamwork, communication, problem solving, and uh, creativity, really. Students had a chance to showcase their project they've been working on for months, as well as being challenged with a mystery project where Alex and her teammates will apply what they've learned at the event. If you have like these containers of sand, which are like the sand and rocks of a mudslide, then it like will roll down. It goes down a ramp and then it hits this, and you have to try to make it so the house doesn't like move the house and and it's, like, safe. Suzuki Charter School is just one of more than 50 schools at the Science Olympics, and the projects will be tested by actual engineers and geoscientists. Do you like it so far? Yeah. How about you guys? Do you like it so far? Yeah, it's yeah. fun. It's very fun. What's the what's the best part so far yet? Working as a team. Yeah. Working as a team yeah. and, yeah. and challenge. Mystery challenge. The Science Olympics is organized by the Association of Professional Engineers and Geoscientists of Alberta, or APEGA. The Science Olympics has been APEGA's staple event in the province for more than 40 years.